Hey YouTube, uh, I was just going to make a quick video again about my um, Miller Elite or Miller Digital Elite welding helmet. Um, also, it's time for me to replace the front lens. So we're going to do that. Um, first of all, I've owned this since August and have build, uh, been welding with it almost every day and it's been quite abused. As you can see, scratches. It's holding up really nicely though. Scratch on the corners, you know. Definitely been used. Um, this is my second lens on the front. Um, I haven't used any of the inside lenses, but um, seem to be holding up well. I still have a couple. Um, I've heard stories of this outside finish here um, peeling off, but it hasn't really started peeling on me yet. But oh, well, I guess it has right there. Um, but that's a crack. Um, if the hood begins to peel, you can send it back to Miller because that's covered under warranty. Um, so, real quick, um, unlike the other. Miller Elites and Digital Elites, um, or maybe just Miller Elites, there's no buttons on the outside to remove the lens. Um, so how you remove this one is, get your headgear where you want it. This is really hard with one hand, actually. Um, and before the video... Um, I undid some of this. There's these two clips right here that are a pain in the ass to do one-handed. So I've already undone those clips, but essentially just bend the mask away from this arm. Push down on the arm and it'll click right out. You can see, you know, there's just a little hole. And this clicks into a hole. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, and then up top here, there's a hinge. So what you're going to do is, you're going to lift the computer unit so it bends down and just pull out. And that's your main unit. Do your best not to touch that blue. You see those scratches on there? That's actually from the back lens right here. Uh, these are interchangeable. But there are no scratches or dirty marks on the actual blue screen. You can see if I... Uh, can do this. I'm just gonna take this out. I'll do the back ones too. Alright, I needed two hands for that, but that's it without the back ones. And as you can see now, there are no scratches or anything on there. Um, so now that you have your computer out, I will set this right there. And go to your bag of lenses. They all have this really annoying diamond printed adhesive on them. Um, but that's what it looks like when you take it off. It's just a clear piece of plastic. There's no real place. There's no pull tabs or anything. So you just kind of got to scrape at it and it's a pain in the ass. But to get this out, let's push and it pops right out. Now you can see this is pretty messed up. Um, and it's got this black gasket around it. So what you gotta do is you gotta work around the edges and take the gasket off. Which is also extremely difficult one-handed. This should only take a couple seconds. But, um, just like that. It's not soft, but, um, it's soft enough to work. So there's the old lens. You can see around the corner it looks burnt. Um, oops. It looks kind of burnt. Um, if you're new to welding, you will learn very quickly that flux core, um, wire feed wire is quite... A mess. Um, it leaves these little metal balls everywhere and it's smoky so even on the carpet you can see that 
Lens there is pretty much brown. New one should be cl it's clear. Um, so essentially, you're just going to take this new lens and do the exact opposite of what you did. Just pop it in the gasket. Um, remember, Miller has its own special lenses for these. You can't just go buy a pack of regular square lenses that are rounded on the top. Um, but I'm starting to see more and more places um, carry Miller lenses, so it's not a big deal. There we go. It's really hard to do one-handed. Um, so just, you know, pop the old gasket back on. Um, and then you're going to take it, and as you can see, there's these two parts that stick up on the sides here just on this one side. So you want to make sure you have the smooth side facing out. And then you're going to take it and work it back into place. Push in the front first or the top first and then just kind of push it down like that. And you now have a new front lens. So then do the exact reverse of what you did, and I'm going to be really careful with this because I still haven't put in a back lens. Um, hook the top, and then you're going to bend the mask outwards and push this clip back into place. side too. Second side is always harder because there's more tension on the mask. So I'm trying to film this as I do it. Like that. And then for the rear lens, I'll just grab my old one wherever I put that. There it is. It's not bad, it's just a little scraped up, but you can still see just fine. Um, you can see up top there's that little fingernail place. That's how you actually push it out. I did it the wrong way, but you're going to go in from the bottom here. And there's these places for it to slide in right above the actual glass from the unit. You're just going to kind of get your finger in there and push it into place. And it doesn't have a defined place to stop. Just make sure it's flush and covering both the top and bottom of the glass. And uh, that is how you change a lens on your Miller Digital Elite.